So in this example today, I'm going to show you how to actually write text to a file. So the first thing we must do is show how to write a text file. So we're going to obviously uh, comment this out. So what I'm going to do is print creating a text file with the write method because we're, we're going to be. So this will be like the message that appears at the beginning. The next thing I'm going to do is open a text file called write it. So what this is saying is we're going to sorry we're going to open up a text file called write it.txt and w means we're going to write to it. So the first thing I'm going to do I'm just going to go text file dot write so this is the information you're writing and for a new line and I'm just going to paste this a couple of times hello I'm writing a file now whenever you finish you need to make sure you close the file afterwards. So watch text underscore file dot close. Because if we don't, then we'll be given an error message. Okay. So we need to make sure that we close it. So let's run this. I'm going to save it. Uh, let's call this uh, writing files. So I've been given an invalid syntax there. Text file, open, write it. So let's just make sure I've done this right. Oh, yep. Yeah. I've got my brackets around my okay so let's try this again All right so like here it says create a text file but we can't actually see whether that's been written or not so what we can do is we can actually open the file so what I'm going to do here is text file equals open and like we've called it before write it dot text and this time we're going to use R to read it. So if I go print text file dot read text and so file dot close. So what that should do now uh, is read in the text and print the information out. I may get a syntax error here. Yep, yeah, uh, so I need to make sure. There we go. So if I run that. So you can see here, line hello, writing a file because I didn't put N at the end of that. Let's run that again. So you can see it's displayed every line in the file. Now the other alternative thing I could do is uh, create a file using the write lines method. So if I just comment this out, Okay. Say for example, I want to print. I've already done that bit, so I don't need that. I'm going to go to lines equals line one. Line two. line three okay and close that off so I've got something called lines there but what I can do is go text file dot write lines lines so that's going to write that whole list so let's do that again text file dot close 
don't need this here. I can comment this out. So I'm going to open it for reading. I'm going to print it and let's have a look at how that looks. So we've got line one, two and three. But say for example I wanted to append this, rather than writing over it all the time, I can use an A. So now if I run that, it's added extra lines, so an A to append an existing file. So see if you can give that a go.